Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video review on buymeaniphone.com. Um, as usual, I'm Omar C, and today we're going to be checking out a very nice case, and it's the Vaha Dockable case. It's a beautiful case, and I'm just going to go ahead and start the review, the re start out the review by saying that this is probably my favorite uh, case that I've ever reviewed on the website. So let's go ahead and see some close-ups and uh, talk about some of the features of this case, alright? I'm going to switch to the other camera here. Like I said before, this is probably my favorite case that I've, I've tested thus far. It does have a few things that I uh, feel could be corrected, but for the most part, it's a really awesome case. So let me just go ahead and show you some really close details of the leather work on this case. Some nice little highlights on there, little silver uh, accents. Obviously, it comes with a belt clip, and uh, I like the belt clip. It's a nice heavy-duty belt clip. Even did a little customize in there for me, if you can see that. But you can also get. Let me go and show you the inside. I love the way that that Vaha does the patterning on their uh, their leather. So you can see the logo there. Stitching is really nice. Leather is beautiful. Definitely top quality, another little piece of silver accent inside there. So, obviously, leather work is really nice. They do an excellent job on all other cases. Um, so, uh, I'm sure if you could tell, but I'm not showing you the case, but everything's really accessible to get to, like most other cases. Most flap cases, you got your silent switch, volume switch, headphone, plug, standby switch. Camera easily accessible even if you want to hold the flap down while you're taking pictures, it still isn't being blocked. Okay, and the it has this microphone and speakerphone covers right there, which is really cool. It doesn't affect the I haven't noticed it affecting the clarity or anything at all. Connectors easily get to corners are being exposed there just because uh, it needs to be in order to be in, able, in order to still fit in the dock. And I wish I had my dock with me, I'm sorry, I don't, but trust me, it does fit in your dock and it does, it does make a connection. And uh, what's really cool, I like the really smart way the way they uh, they they left the uh, proximity sensor. They left it open there, but through that little uh, you can you can't see it obviously, but it's right it's right here. So that's probably a nice little way that they decided to keep it exposed, but not make it so obvious as to cut like a huge U into this. So this whole area was exposed, but it just barely showed a little bit there. And so I haven't had any, any problems with that at all. Let me show you one of the things that um, one of the one of the few things about this case I would have changed was the home button. Now you can see here they have a cover over the home button, and it does stick out a little bit. It's like a little button, and if you press on it, it does respond. And I guess I missed the phone call there. It does respond to um, you know when you press down on it. But something I've noticed, and you know obviously you don't have the tactile feedback that you would usually have with your button. The little the little click sensation when you press down on it, you don't get that with this. And so sometimes when you use it, let me see if I can get you, if I can show it to you here. I don't know if you can see that, but sometimes you might be, you might not be aware of how hard to push down. You might be pressing it really hard, and you'll see the pixels start to flex. They'll start to shift if you press down really hard on it. So I'm, I'm, I've been trying to be really careful with it because I don't want to mess up the screen. But you know, I, I think it's really nice how it's like that. But I think I could have been, it would have been fine if it had just been cut out, and I could have just. I think I would have rather be able to push the home button because, like I said, you don't feel that click that you would usually feel on your home button when you're using it, and I kind of miss that. So that's one thing to think about. But uh, you know, the craftsmanship is beautiful. Bell clip is awesome. Besides the home button, there's probably absolutely nothing I would change about this case, and I love it. And it's definitely probably uh, number one on my favorite iPhone cases. Vaha dockable case. And I'll give you guys the links to purchase that directly off of Vaha if you are interested. This case retails for $75, which, yes, is a little bit on the expensive side. Um, like I, I've said before, 30, anything over $30 is, is what I pretty much rank in as expensive or a little bit more top of the line. But keep in mind that when you purchase this case, you get to pick your, your colors. I picked the burgundy and black here. But you get to customize whatever colors you want. You get to do, you can add a customization on the back as far as the name or whatever. You can choose a belt clip. You can choose not to have the belt clip. And these are being manufactured in uh, Argentina. So it does take a while for them to make this. I think it's the turnaround time is 10 days in order to put this together and to ship it out to you. 
So, but you know, I love this case so much that I, I would be willing to save up to get this case just because it's just it's a beautiful case. It's high quality. It's probably going to last you a very long time, and it just meets all my expectations as you know what I've come to expect from from Vaha. So, Vaha, Dr. Bullet, the case.